Hey friends, what's up? Moses here at the Driver Success Channel. So I'm on my way to work and I just want to share with you something uh, that hopefully <coughs> will speak to you. In 2013, just before I got married, I had a car, a Dodge Stratus, and uh, it had served me for close to 10 years, I believe. And um, just weeks before before our wedding, the engine just gave up, and I think to replace the engine, I had to come up with about three thousand dollars. And at the moment, uh, that wasn't my priority because uh, we were planning a wedding. My wife had to move to relocate to California. Uh, I mean. The car wasn't the priority uh, because it was, it was just like about maybe two, three or two weeks before the wedding. That's when the car gave up. So I, I just let the car go. I just gave up on the car. And this car that I'm driving right now is uh, a Corolla, a Toyota Corolla, 1999 Toyota Corolla, and it was uh, it was my wife's aunt. Uh, she, my wife got it from her aunt and she was driving it and this is the same car we have now we only have one car uh, it's a small car but after the wedding we drove we drove this small car from Maryland all the way to California our, our friends and our relatives were not sure if we could make it we didn't know if we could make it to, but we were able to make it from Maryland to California. As you know, we just moved from uh, California to Texas. And guess what? It is the same car we used to move from uh, California to Texas. We drove this same car. Um, we've only had one car since we got married. Um, when we got married, I think I haven't told the story here of our, our firstborn, but uh, my wife got pregnant during our honeymoon, so uh, we knew that she wasn't gonna be working for some time. Uh, we wanted to, uh, we wanted, we just made a decision that she she be home with uh, with our daughter until we feel comfortable. And then um, when our daughter was about maybe like a year or so, I think about a year, uh, she started working part time. So I would be with her and then when she comes home, then I would go to work uh, because we prefer to do it that way. Other than putting, the, um, putting her in daycare and spending money on daycare, we would rather that um, she be with her parents. So that's why we didn't even bother getting another car. So this car has served us well, and we are still we still have one car. Um, so soon we are going to be getting a second child, which means we probably need a bigger car. But the reason I'm making this video is uh, just to encourage you um, to to be appreciative of what you have. One of the amazing things to me is that it's a small car, it's an old car, but we have never been stranded on the road anywhere with this car. We pass newer cars, better cars, bigger cars, stranded on the road because of a mechanical problem. I know a very good friend of mine who who has been buying new cars but keeps on getting problems because of the computer systems and all this stuff. But we have had this car, yes, we have done some repairs on it, but generally speaking, we haven't had uh, a big problem where we are stranded on the road or anything like that. So to me, that is something to be thankful for. Uh, we do watch a lot of uh, adverts and marketing stuff on the TV where we are expected to have the newer, the bigger, the better, the, the latest. 
and so sometimes we crave for things that we don't have and we forget to thank God for the things that we have in our lives and so for me I remember when I was when we were living in California <laughs> I'm like I don't know if we are making it to Texas in this small car in this uh, old car but we made it and to me I really I really said I had to thank God if we made it and I wanted to testify that God has been so good to us and I think there are things in our lives that um, we take for granted but things we need to be thankful for so I don't know what your situation is I don't know um, what you have or what you don't have but regardless of where you are there is something to be thankful for there are things that you may be taking for granted that you shouldn't be taking for granted just the fact that you are alive uh, the fact that you are healthy if you have a family uh, if you have friends if you have a job these are things that we sometimes take for granted they look like the uh, normal part of life stuff but those are things that we need to be thankful for so um, I say that because I know that sometimes we we always wish we had better things we had bigger things we had the latest things and we forget to appreciate uh, even what we have just because of what we want to get but I just want to encourage you not to forget that even what you have is a blessing there are people that do not have what you have um, there are people that don't have a car so I need to be grateful that we have a car there are people that don't have a job I need to be grateful that uh, I have a job I have a wife a beautiful not just a wife a beautiful wife I have a family those are things you need to be grateful for so anyway I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to to encourage you to have uh, that heart of gratitude to just remember to thank God for what he is doing in your life and um, just look around you and see the things that you have and then thank God for those things just wanted to share with you that um, until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye